Hey everybody, alright, so it is week 35, or technically week 34 in like 6 days. So um, I don't think I've ever recorded a vlog slightly early before. But I just had time and energy and um, a lot I wanted to talk about, so I was like, why wait till tomorrow, I'll just do it today. So anyway, um, alright, so first, the about the uh, testing and everything from this past week. So, one, um, I thought it was supposed to take a week because that's what the technician had told, or the, the nurse who was doing the blood work um, told me. But it turns out that um, what she was talking about was if you have to take this um, bile, liver, you know, bile test thing, it takes a week. My um, blood test actually doesn't take very long at all. So, anyway, um, regardless, at my doctor's office, they have a, uh, they only call when there's a problem policy, and they've not called me, so my blood work must have been fine. And I know a lot of you are probably like, well, why don't you call them? But, um, they, they do, they call you. And my doctor is not someone who takes chances, if anything. Sometimes I think she maybe slightly overreacts as what happened, um, in my hospital stay visit from week 27 or 28. So, um, if she hasn't called me, then she's probably not overly concerned that it's ICP because, um, you don't mess around with that. You, uh, you jump right on the ball. So, so anyway, so that's the, the, um, probable good news is that it's probably just pups because they would have called me and they haven't. And I am going to see her in a day or a couple of days anyway. So we'll find out for sure. But, but yeah, they would have called by now. Um, cause I did, I looked into it and they should have had the results back in 24 hours. So they would have, you know, let me know. So anyway, so that's just kind of like, <sighs> and, um, although <laughs> the, the pups rash is definitely like not fun. Um, but the thing is, is like the actual visual rash has been clearing up. And um, I looked more into it, and a lot of people said that the worst itching only lasts a week, and then you just, you still keep itching pretty bad, but like, the the worst that it gets is about a week long, and I think I've already passed that point. So, um, and also, I'm just much better at handling it. It's kind of like, I'll feel itchy, and I just don't let myself scratch, and it feels, you know, better, and I keep myself lotioned this has been my favorite um i've been i've tried about i have so many different things i've tried but this has been the best for me and it's um it's a vino i mean i always use a vino products but this is their intense relief overnight cream so it helps and then um i do have a prescription for um a hydro hydrocosine or something like that um and it's a pill and it makes you really tired <laughs> and then i have a steroid cream um, which definitely helps with the rash. So, anyway, but I use those medications limitedly because, um, they don't, they're not 100% safe for the baby, although your doctor won't prescribe them unless they think it's okay. So, anyway, basically, I just try to deal with it with lots of lotion and anti-itch cream, also a vino that I bought, that seemed to be the best. It's working better than the Benadryl or anything. And I do that, and then when I definitely I'm getting more itchy than kind of like I can handle, I'll go and take the medicine. So, or I'll take it just at night so I can sleep through it. But anyway, I'm uh, feeling better about handling it. And also, um, I am along the same line. I was, had mentioned that I was really worried about being induced. Um, and I don't have a problem with being induced. It's the risk of the C-section increasing. And, um, I know some, someone had told me that, which made me feel better, someone who actually has ICP, um, very kind and gave me a lot of information and, and, uh, they had said that, um, with proper procedures and everything, your risk of a C-section can actually be about the same as not being induced. So, I looked into it more myself, um, and went, uh, through some medical, um, books and things like that and uh, recently they have released a study that says that if you are induced after your due date your risk of a c-section is no higher than um, it would be without 
but if you are induced before your due date, you, you do have a slightly higher risk of C-section, like period. Um, but that doesn't mean it's high. It's just a slightly higher. So I actually feel much better about the possibility of being induced now. Um, all, one other thing I had about being induced wasn't that I was going to be induced. It was more like I was really looking forward to the, uh, I know this is weird, and most of you would be like, are you serious? <laughs> That's not even cool. But um, <laughs> I was kind of looking forward to the not knowing when she was coming, um, as annoying as it can be on one hand. On the other hand, it's like, you know, it's kind of exciting. It's like, when is she going to come? When am I going to go into labor? When, you, not the not, that's, that was kind of like a fun anticipation for me that I felt like was being taken away. So I was just kind of sad. I was like, mm. but then on the other hand, I've been thinking about it and I was like, although, <laughs> you know, you get induced, uh, you, you still know exactly when they're coming, you you get excited about the, the date because you know, okay, I'm getting induced on fill in the blank, woohoo, so that's really fun too, you know, so, yeah, and uh, my husband's been really awesome, and um, the one thing he keeps kind of like tisking me about is, and he's right, and a lot of you have said the same thing, is you can't plan for this stuff, um, you know, I, I, you have to be prepared that, you know, things might happen, and, and just be okay with that, so, anyway, as you can tell, no matter what is going on, I'm in a much better mood. Um, <laughs> I think I'm just getting really excited. So anyway, and this is going to be another two-parter, which uh, I, I like was like, I want to try to not do two-parters, but there's just a lot to going on. So anyway, so I know I just rambled a bunch there, but I just wanted to like talk all about that really quick. So anyway, um, no definite whatever. I'll have my doctor's appointment, but it's looking pretty good that it's just that stupid, annoying rash. <laughs> So anyway, um, okay, so let me, I'm keep looking down because I have my laptop and I'm, I had, uh, wrote down the topics I'm talking about. All right, so moving on, um, I, <laughs> it's funny, I was watching, um, oh, one other thing, guys, if you ever have, like, a vlog up that you really want me to see, um, send me a message because, like, lately I've been so busy that I get really behind on watching vlogs that I like to watch like there are people I feel like I've become friends with you guys and and I'll, I'll miss a vlog and I'll be like oh no and <laughs> just because I have so much going on and so um I don't know it, it's annoying I'm like oh dang I have like 20 vlogs to watch and I want to watch every one of them so anyway I get behind and then I'm like I feel out of the loop so <laughs> anyway but um the whole point of what I just said was that I was watching a lot of the vlogs and I noticed that every single person who's around 34, 35 weeks has been like, the pressure. <laughs> so, and I too am having the pressure. Um, it must just, you know, be happening at this time. But anyway, yeah, a lot of pressure down below. It's especially if I've been up a lot and walking, um, I'll just start to get pretty sore. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fun, but you know, all part of it. And then... Um, my breasts have been definitely more sore. Um, you know, they were sore at the beginning of the pregnancy, then not really sore ever. <laughs> and, uh, now they are definitely more sore and I've had a lot more leaking. And I even noticed underneath, <laughs> there's like stretch marks developing. You can't see, I mean, you have to like lift them up to notice, but, um, so I know they're growing. <laughs> um, and I'm already... A pretty decent size so I know you're supposed to uh, you know they grew at the beginning of the pregnancy a whole cup size and now they're on their way to doing another cup size because apparently I've been told I need to go and get um, you know nursing bras or whatever a whole cup size bigger than I am right now <laughs> to compensate for how they will be when the belt comes in so I was like that is a bra number I never thought I would see it is mighty but so it goes